Hi, my name is Tess and welcome to my closet. Today we're going to talk about menswear. And in honor, my mascot Paisley Joy is wearing a men's bow tie. Thanks for coming, Paisley. So, ZZ Top said, they come a-running just as fast as they can because every girl's crazy about a sharp-dressed man. And that's true. Us ladies like our guys looking good. So let's demystify men's clothing and men saying, honey, does this go with this? And help them see what looks good and they can do this on their own. <clears throat> Here's a men's check suit. Well, you can wear a check with a stripe with a polka dot and not look clown-like, even with a little pocket square. They're all in the same color palette, so it works. And they're different sizes. The check is big and medium and small size, and it works together. So that's a sharp look. I recommend Joseph A. Banks for suits. They fit you very well. Sign up for their emails, and you'll know when they have sales. Their sales do make things affordable. If it's not on sale, it can be kind of pricey, so wait for those sales. <clears throat> Here's an example of a man's navy suit. A navy suit, if a man's going to own one suit, let it be the navy suit because it's seasonless and he's going to get a lot of mileage out of it for work or business. <clears throat> now, the tie is not match, is, is not supposed to match the suit. It's supposed to go. So here there's an orange and blue color combination, which is really very exciting and beautiful. Also, we changed out the white shirt to a steely blue. So that adds a little bit more personality and pattern to an outfit. Now, as a side point, a man's shoes and belt should match. So if you have a black pair of shoes and a black belt with silver accessories, that would go nice as a set. Or a brown belt, brown shoes with gold accessories. So that's simple, right? That was painless enough to learn. Here's a lighter color suit and white shirt, a little bit of bling, again the pocket square. You don't have to be overly fussy with your pocket squares. They literally are a square of fabric and you kind of just ball it up until it makes a nice little pattern and you stuff it in there. And if you want to go the extra step, put a pin in here so that it's one and done. You won't be fussing with it because they can have a tendency to stick out too far or then disappear and look sloppy. But if you took the time to just put that little pin without seeing it through your suit, it'll stay put. And that extra step can make the difference between you not fussing with your outfit and feeling confident. I'm also showing how you can mix a polka dot with a stripe. And we're doing that with a sock. The socks should go with a man's trouser. It's an old way of thinking that the socks were supposed to match the man's shoes. They really want long legs just like a woman does. They want to look long and tall and trim. And a way for a man to do that is by making sure that his socks match his trousers. So brown pants, brown socks, black pants, black socks, taupe Top socks. This way when you're sitting down and some ankle is showing, it's one continuous line. It looks very spiffy. <clears throat> okay, here's another suit. I don't know if it'll show up on the camera, but this is a wide pinstripe suit. And you can do a wide pinstripe with a stripe and a polka dot. This time we left out the pocket square, but we did a boutonniere with a feather and a rock. And I'm also showing how the socks can be an argyle or another pattern because the base of this sock is the same as the suit. Getting back to the boutonniere, there's a nice little story behind this. Little boys tend to give you rocks and feathers for gifts and you don't want to throw them away. So those are things I put in my box in the closet and took a little wire and wrapped it up and made a nice masculine boutonniere with some wire and a pin. And we have several of those. Also, with men's accessories, don't neglect your work, sorry Arabella, your workbook bag. Keep it looking nice. Something with texture in it can add a pattern to your outfit. I recommend something in the brown family because remember brown and black do go even in menswear. 
And plus, for the same reason, you'll have a seasonless look, unless you're the kind of man who wants to change up his bags, but usually they just want to put in what they need for work and forget about it. So, again, the um, brown bag would be the most versatile. How about date night? You want to be comfortable. So, how about some jeans? But instead of just doing jeans, t-shirts, and sneakers that we might do for every day, we want it to be special, don't we? So what we're going to do is we're going to put on a belt. It's another way to express ourselves. Maybe something that's braided, something with a little bit of bling, a well-fitted uh, pair of jeans that makes us look good. <clears throat> and how about a man's white dressy shirt? Nothing is sexier than a crisp white shirt. But we're not going to button it up and put a tie because then we're going to feel uncomfortable. We want it open and we want to cuff our um, sleeve so that we're not all bottled up and bunched up. We want to be comfortable and a nice leather jacket. And to make the outfit a little more special and a little more ironic, what we want to do is take those same black pair of shoes that we would have worn with our suit and yes, put it with our jeans and <clears throat> add a little silver bling. I know our electronics have our time on it, but a little sparkle looks nice on a man's wrist, especially if his shirt is cuffed up. A little extra thought. This is some other things that I like to get at Burlington Goat Factory that goes with suits. You can get your French cuffs there for your French cuff shirts. And on the internet, you can get these are for your collar for when you do button it up. It gives you a little give so that you're not going like this with your collar and uncomfortable because that's when we lose confidence when we're constantly adjusting our clothes. That'll just give it a little give and might make the difference between us not mind wearing a tie or not. Okay, how about our everyday weekend running around outfit? Well, let's switch it up. Instead of, col instead of regular blue jeans, how about colored jeans with a nice belt? And maybe we have a sports shirt or our favorite car or concert tee. How about layering that with a striped shirt or, or a plaid shirt over it? So it adds a nice interesting outfit. And then instead of sneakers, how about a pair of shoes like these Dr. Martens? Men really like them because they give them that feeling like a work boot. They tread manly boots, but yet they're civilized and they're shoe-like on top. And again, your socks would match your colored jeans for a longer leg line. And how about like a barbecue or a picnic or a summer outfit? <clears throat> Why not try a colorful pattern pair of shorts and an interesting belt? Again, belts are a way to express yourself in men's wardrobe. And then pairing that with maybe a polo and a vest. And the vests are nice because you can put your keys, your wallet, your, your iPad, your iPod in there rather. And, and then maybe what you want to do is like an earthy wooden watch accessory. That's kind of interesting. And instead of the baseball cap that men so love, maybe they want to switch it up and try a different kind of explorer hat. <clears throat> and that's what Arabella is showing here too is men could add scarves into their wardrobes. They could also add in crossbody bags made for men from Coach. You can sign up for emails and get 20% off. And experiment with different hats besides the baseball cap because you can, if you're not the cowboy type, maybe a plaid hat like that will do the trick. It's just as easy to put on as a baseball cap. And a fabric hat like this would be nice <clears throat> with your suits. They don't have to match your suits. As a matter of fact, they shouldn't match your suit or your trench. They just have to go. It adds a more interesting outfit. And little details like this on the hat are already built in and add a nice little signature style. Burlington Coat Factory, you can get good prices on hats too. And these are winter hats, but in the summer and spring you might want more of a raffia hat. You wear them with a little bit of an attitude, a little bit tilted like you're a crooner. And here's another raffia hat.
Well, I hope that was very helpful. And here's one more tip. How about sneaker-like shoes that are loafers? Well, thanks for coming to Test Closet, and I hope it helped add some extra style and pizzazz into your life. So have a good day. Bye-bye.